This video is brought to you by our amazing supporters over at Patreon. Hey everyone, it's Ben from Board to Bits, and over the past couple weeks I've made the transition from using MonoDevelop to using Visual Studio, which is really the trend that Unity has been using in terms of its scripting environment. And I wanted to talk about my experiences in this. I am by no means an expert in using Visual Studio at this point, but I did want to just kind of give you kind of an overview of my experiences as well as a quick primer on how to get Visual Studio set up if you haven't, as well as some of the tips and tricks that I've found so far. Um, that said, if you guys have your own um, tips or advice that you'd like to share, feel free to leave those in the comments or you can at me on Twitter at board to bits I'd love to see those and I might include those in a future video. I'll probably do some follow-up videos over the coming months as I get more used to using Visual Studio. But like I say, I just wanted to kind of dive in, um, particularly for those who haven't used Visual Studio yet, and to just kind of see what it's all about. So to start, if you're not using Visual Studio already, possibly if you're using an older version of Unity, haven't updated in a while, um, and Unity hasn't tried to kind of make you default to Visual Studio, here's how you can quickly switch over. If you go up to your um, Edit and then go to Preferences, uh, here in External Tools, the second tab, you'll see an option for an external script editor. Uh, if you're on MonoDevelop or something else, um, you should also see in this drop down here, you'll probably see Visual Studio as well. I've got Visual Studio 2015 right here. Um, you can also browse for others if you want to, but we're talking about Visual Studio today. If this does not appear here, then likely what happened was when you installed Unity, you elected not to install Visual Studio as well. In that case, what you'll need to do is you'll actually need to go to um, the download archive, find your particular version of Unity that you're using, and then um, download the Unity installer. And then you're going to see a screen that gives you a bunch of options of different modules you can add. Just be sure that you're including Visual Studio on that, and that will get that loaded up for you. Once you're ready, once you've got that um, set up in your preferences, what you, all you have to do is open up a script, and it will open in Visual Studio now. So for example here, if I open this one, um, I found it can take a little bit of time sometimes. That was actually pretty quick today right now, but um, sometimes it takes a little bit longer for Visual Studio to load up. So. The first thing I want to talk about that's really nice with you, with um, Visual Studio is that it's actually got its own compiler. And what that means is that normally when you use MonoDevelop, you would write your code, you'd save it, and then you jump back over to Unity, wait for it to compile, and see, you know, do any errors get thrown? Are there any obvious issues? Can you run your game? Well, with Visual Studio, it actually has its own compiler so that as you're writing in real time, um, Visual Studio is trying to compile your um, code and it will therefore show you errors in real time. This is kind of a good and a bad thing. It depends on how easily distracted you are. The reason I say this is say that I start um, typing a method here. If I say something like void um, go to place, you'll notice that already right here I'm getting errors. These errors are appearing. And that's because obviously I'm not done writing this script yet, but Visual Studio is trying to compile this as it goes. If I then kind of finish this and do that, they go away, because now I've got kind of at least a syntactically correct um, method here. So it's like I say, it's a really nice thing because you can see it before you have to even jump back to Unity. However, if you're really easily kind of um, distracted by the fact that these errors might start appearing in your script, that, yeah, see now I need a semicolon to end that, things like that. If, that. if you find that's really distracting, you can certainly just close this error list and you don't have to view it. However, if you ever wanna open it again, um, all you have to do is do a quick shortcut and this is one of the other things just to be aware of with Visual Studio. Um, this shortcut is Control and then the um, backslash, and then you're gonna hit the E key uh, without any control held down, and that will open up the error list. If I, op if I go here to view, you'll see it here as well with the Control, slash, and then um, E. And so that opens that up. And yeah, like what I wanted to say was that one of the things to be aware of with Visual Studio is that they have a lot of these kind of two-step shortcuts, uh, which can be a little bit weird when you're used to things maybe that have like a couple buttons that you have to press, but it's only ever kind of like one step. So just be aware of that. So I'm gonna delete this for now. One really nice thing that Visual Studio does also is that it auto-completes really well. Um, there's a lot, I think a lot more functionality with auto-completing in it. Um, for example, if I wanted to recreate the awake method in here, all I would have to do is type like A, W, and you see this appears as this option here. And if I just hit enter, it automatically fills that in for me. It fills it in with the, um, private um, pre-word there. I don't usually use that personally, um, but I'm kind of getting used to the fact that Visual Studio adds it automatically. It doesn't hurt anything. Um, if you didn't have it there, it would mean the same thing. So it, like I say, it doesn't change anything. It's actually a little bit more clear. Um, but then it also gives you, you know, your return type, 
name, um, parentheses, would pre-populate with any parameters if they were there. It also does the proper formatting of actually having the brackets on their own lines, which I don't know why, but Unity um, never, whenever it pre-makes a C-sharp file for you, in fact, if I jump over to this one, oh no, I did delete them there. Um, but if I were to create a new file, you would see that Unity likes to put that, um, their brackets on the same line as the title. I don't know why that is. I know it drives a lot of developers nuts. Um, I used to get comments about that a lot, so hopefully that will be happening a lot less often though, now that Visual Studio is doing that the proper way. One other really nice thing about Visual Studio is how it also auto-completes events. Um, if you're not familiar with events, basically it's a situation where you create sort of this template um, template method and then or template kind of method header and then you create an event based on that so in this case here um, I'm creating an event that whenever I were to call this um, what happens is other scripts will listen for that event and then run methods based on that assuming that they kind of meet this delegate template so in model develop if I would want to do that I would have to create that properly formatted method and then I could um, kind of assign it or subscribe to it, um, like typically in my awake function, what I would do is something like I would say event example dot on event happened, and then I would need to um, assign this method that I've created. Now, obviously here, I don't have a method that I've created um, that I can assign to this, but what's really nice in, mono, or in Visual Studio, I should say, is that when you hit um, plus equals, you get this option, whoops, and it went away there, so let me retype that, to press tab to insert, and when you do that, it automatically creates, it fills in a um, method call here, or not a method call, but the method name here, and it actually creates that entire method for you with all the proper parameters, return types. It fills it in with an automatic kind of, if you haven't written code in there yet, it'll throw an error. But, um, and it gives it kind of a pretty clear name too, insofar as that it's the class that it's coming from and the, where, and the name of that event. Um, you can certainly rename that right now. In fact, it lets you know here that you can re you can right now start typing and rename that if I wanted to call it something like do this when the event happens um, and hit enter and there you go. So it's a really nice kind of another really kind of shortcut um, system. I should say the um, auto completing of things like awake you can do that with on enable with start with update. Um, it's all kind of pre built in there, which is really nice. A um, couple other just quick gotchas that I wanted to mention. Um, commenting. Uh, in the, the um, previous, uh, in Mono Develop, you could just kind of hit control and slash and it would auto comment stuff for you. It's a little bit more in involved here. In this case here, you say, oops, you know, this should be a comment. I'm not getting my automatic errors because this is not in any sort of C sharp code. In this case, what you have to do is you have to hit control K and then control C and that will comment that for you. And you can do multi-line commenting that, commenting that way as well. Um, again, it's one of those two-step shortcuts, so it's just something to be aware of. The last thing that I wanted to talk about in this video, um, again, this is an issue. I haven't quite found a proper solution to it yet, but I just wanted to make you aware of it, is that, uh, let me save these quickly. If I jump back to Unity and I wanna create a new file here, I can go create c -sharp script and then call this uh, third file because I have two others. If I jump back, sometimes this will actually automatically happen when you do this, um, uh, Visual Studio will pop up. Or if I jump back here now, what happens is you get this file modification detected. Basically what's happening is you've changed the, what is called the solution, which is this kind of packaging of all your scripts. You've changed that outside of Visual Studio. And so Visual Studio says, hey, do you wanna reload this right now? And so you can say either just reload um, the individual changes or just reload everything just so you see it at its most up-to-date uh, form. So if I hit reload, what happens is that's, that this um, third file here appears in the solution and I can now open it either through Unity or through Visual Studio. Um, I haven't found a way to stop this from happening. There is a, and you may have better results with this than I do, but if you go to Tools and go to Options and you go uh, to Documents, there is this detect, um, this one will automatically be checked off and that's kind of what's detecting that something has changed and letting you know and telling you to reload. Unfortunately, this reload modified files doesn't seem to work with adding new files. It only seems to happen if you had say edited a file outside of Visual Studio, then that would reload automatically for you. So I don't know if there's another solution for that. And if anyone out there knows, please comment and let me know because um, 
I'd love to stop that from happening. It's not a huge, it's, you know, a split second out of my life, but it happens every time you add a new file, and so it can get a little bit cumbersome. So anyway, those are the basics of um, what's really useful. I found this, particularly this error list, getting those uh, all that information automatically and auto-completing that are really useful right now. As I learn more about the system, I will certainly kind of update this series with um, some more information. But in the meantime, um, I wish you guys luck as you make your transitions, if you haven't already, to Visual Studio. And I uh, wish you luck with your coding. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.